welcome my friends of the interwebs and welcome to another edition of real life real life um brought to you once again in the bench talk style of voodoo politics um it's been so long since i've uh done a bench talk it's uh it's a little bizarre for me actually and i feel horrible about that because my voodoo politics channel is doing so well um, and one day I will tell you all why I have not been doing, why I have not been doing really anything with, um, with that. I'm almost done with the Topsy Leap, Leap, which is very cool. Um, I will not be buying this again, but I will be, uh, for that, from that point on using Ballastol. So, but for now, Topsy Leap it is. Anyway, um, yeah, there's a story behind why I have not done a whole lot with voodoo politics, though I am chopping it to bit. However, having said that, I am going to make this somewhat of a political video. I did say that I was going to do another real-life video on uh, the sheriff of uh, Bell County before the elections. And as everybody knows, election day is November 2nd. So we're coming up close to that time frame. So I thought that I would go ahead and do just one more uh, do not please reelect uh, the sheriff of Bell County, Bruce Bennett. Sheriff Bruce Bennett. By the way, uh, big uh, big props to Propaganda Buster Tony. Uh, Propaganda Buster is his channel name. Um, he actually found on the internet a uh, a an interview, uh, a, an actual YouTube interview with uh, the sheriff of Bell County. Um, if I could find that video, I'll put a link to it just so you guys can actually see what the Sheriff of Bell County looks like. But, um, so this message, this video will actually be a real life video, but it will be geared more towards my friends down in Bell County, Kentucky. Um, you know, i run that through there again. The thing of it is, is this. I've noticed something. And I'm, I'm I, and if you're from Bell County, you know, feel free to chime in. But uh, has anybody else noticed that all the known drug dealers have a real life sheriff Bennett sign in their front yard? <laughs> I mean, you know, <laughs> I none of them have a a elect Mitch Williams sign. <laughs> you know, <laughs> what's that say? You know, a couple of them, I think, at one point were trying to play both ends against the middle. I, I, I guess uh, at one point, Pinhead, I think it was Pinhead, uh, I, was, I was told by a very, uh, a very reliable source that Pinhead uh, had both signs, uh, Sheriff uh, Bennett and uh, Mitch Williams, but recently has been spotted, or was spotted, Tearing up the Mitch Williams sign. So apparently, uh, he was trying to hedge his bets, <laughs> and and Mitch Mitch Williams basically, I think, told Pinhead that uh, he wasn't interested in his support. So, <laughs> yeah, how do you like that? How do you like those apples? <laughs> so I guess Pinhead's basically got all of his apples in one boat now, which is or in one wood basket, which is. Uh, uh, Bruce Bennett. Sheriff Bennett. You know, regardless of what anybody thinks of me, separate me. Because I know there are some people in Bell County who don't like me. Actually, there's a lot of people in Bell County that don't like me. They think that I'm I'm putting a bad negative light onto Bell County by talking about a lot of the stuff that they think should stay, you know, in the county, I guess. I don't know. But the thing of it is, is this, you know... Oh, look at this was. Uh, by the way, I took this gun to Kentucky with me to uh, to shoot. Um, real quick uh, about the the TV series. Um, <laughs> they were down there filming me for the weekend, and both uh, the camera the cameraman and uh, the uh, the casting chick. Uh, <laughs> neither one of them had ever shot a gun. Neither one of them had ever held a gun. So you know, and and of course. Always trying to corrupt the Hollywood elite uh, anti-gun types. <laughs> now, having said that, they didn't come off as anti-gun at all. But they just had never been exposed to it. Um, I actually had them shooting. And I, I mean, I, I tell you right now, and I don't know if they'd admit to this or not, but they seemed to really enjoy themselves. <laughs> I really think, honestly, 
if you took most uh, most of those uh, uh, liberal Hollywood liberal types, you put a gun in their hand and, and take them out to the range. I'm telling you right now, their stance on guns would change in a heartbeat. So anyway, back to to the sheriff and you know the people. Listen, I, when I do these videos about Sheriff uh, Bennett, it really is honestly. Um, just kind of an eye opener for people. I just want people to understand that there is alternatives to the status quo. You know, you don't have to accept things as they are. You can make a change. You know, I mean, you can make a change. I know it's kind of scary. The drug dealers aren't going to want any kind of change because they like things the way they are. Right now, for the most part, there's a certain there's a certain number of them that don't have anything to worry about. Now, their competition does. You know, their competition has a whole hell of a lot to worry about. So that's the thing, you know, and I've always said this. If you're in good graces with the sheriff, for whatever reason, you could speculate. I don't have to. Um, you could pretty much get away with whatever you want. You ever notice that <laughs> certain people that we all know are drug dealers never get arrested? Ever? You ever notice that? Doesn't it make you wonder? <laughs> you know? Everybody knows they're drug dealers. See, that's the thing. Okay, people can keep living in denial if they want. All right? And I'm talking to people about County. We all know who the major players are. If you don't, you're living under a rock. I only live there part-time, and I know who all the major players are. Okay? And the major players don't get arrested. Seriously. You know? One got arrested accidentally, and that was in Knox County, in Barberville. What was he, selling 300 uh, Xanaxes to some chick? I'm not going to name him. You know who he is. Okay. And that was just by fluke. The, uh, the, <laughs> the Knox County, uh, was, was it the Barberville Police? or I think it was Barberville Police. It might have been the Knox County Sheriff's Department. Uh, seen what they thought was suspicious activity, and sure enough, it was. Now, that dude's only mistake was doing a drug deal in the next county. He should have stayed where he was safe. And what the weird thing about that, too, is that I can't understand why he was doing the drug deal. Because he's a big, big wig. You know? And doesn't he have people to do that? I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to say too much about that dude, though, because that will get me killed. You know, Pinhead goes around telling people how he's going to kill me. But uh, this, this other dude, he's, he's a scary dude. He's a scary dude. Um, yeah. Pinhead's just crazy. He's just a nut, nut job. This other dude's a real deal, and I don't, uh, <laughs> you know, I got a little thing. I got a little to live for, damn it. <laughs> Not a lot, but a little. So, anyway, um, on the second, you are all going to have an opportunity to not vote for the status quo. You're going to have an opportunity for change. You're going to have an opportunity. I mean, because seriously, is Mitch Williams going to do any worse <laughs> than Sheriff Bennett? Because I don't think it's possible to do any worse. And the only thing I hope Mitch does do is I hope he keeps some of the younger guys that haven't been completely corrupted yet. But I hope and pray that everybody at the top, the, what do they call him, the number one guy, what's he called, the chief deputy or whatever the hell he is, Cornelius, um, yeah, I, I hope the I hope he purges the uh, the top ranks of the sheriff's department. I really do. I hope he purges that, you know, and start fresh. And I hear that's what he's going to do, but I really do hope he keeps some of the younger guys. You know, some of the younger guys, I think they they may have a sta they may stand a chance of uh, of becoming some pretty good law enforcement officials. I actually like some of the younger deputies, you know. So I don't always have negative things to say about the uh, Bell County Sheriff's Department. Some of the younger deputies are pretty good, you know. So, anyway, let me know if you like this uh, this bench talk type of, uh, of video that I'm doing. I think that um, I may do some more of these. This is what I used to do on my Maybed Voodoo, or excuse me, my uh, Voodoo Politics channel. I did a lot of this. People seem to dig it, but, you know, it's kind of a different crowd over here on the Mad Bad Voodoo channel. Anyway, I don't know where I'm at with time. Um, people of good 
Bell County, or I should say the good people of Bell County, please, 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 please do not reelect Sheriff Bennett. Please do not. Um, yeah, listen, yeah, send him to retirement. The man, you know what, if you do think he's a good guy and you think he's, uh, He's not corrupt, and you think all the, if you completely think the opposite of him, you know what? Let him retire. I mean, he, he's older than dirt. I mean, he was there when Moses came down with the tablets. Let him retire. You know, help him. Help him retire. Well, let's be honest. He was going to retire this year. Okay? We all know that. The only reason that he didn't retire was because he knew that his chief deputy didn't stand a Chinaman's chance in hell against Mitch Williams. That's the only reason that he didn't uh, 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 retire. You know, I mean, truthfully, let's let's just keep it real. You know, and by the way, <clears throat> well, if I uh, and, and if there's still not a hundred percent guaranteed that I'm going to get this TV show, it just pretty much looks like I am. Um, I will be living in Bell County, Kentucky, for the first season, which will take about I think about four months to uh, uh, to film the first season. Um, it's like 13 episodes. I think they filmed that in, in three and a half months to four months, something like that. So when that happens, probably it'd be after the first of the year. Uh, maybe before that, but chances are it'll be after the holidays. Um, you guys can expect to see a whole lot more in the way of shooting videos and things like that. So anyway, listen, everybody, uh, take care, and I'll talk to you all soon. Peace.